we're recording, we're ready. Did I just define it in the most succinct way? Like When your subject matter is drawing from your own life, the audience then is able to build a relationship with you. So I've got a voice over here. Mm -hmm. I want to transcribe it. Cool. Um, and then I want to put captions on my video. Um, this is always like a super labor intensive thing for me. And I'm nice. wondering if there's any way I can be more efficient. Yes. So this is actually one of my most favorite things that Premiere does now is speech to text captions. Mm -hmm. It's actually really helpful, especially if you're someone who's starting to do longer form content, which I know sometimes you kind of dabble in documentaries and mm -hmm. interviews and you'd be good to have a transcription of what everything that was yes. said. So there's okay. a captions workspace. Beautiful. And on the left side is where your captions screen is going to be. So the first thing you want to do is make sure that your timeline of what you want transcribed is available and down there and highlighted, yes. So we're gonna come up here to our text window and hit transcribe sequence. Well, thanks for showing me this. You're welcome. <laughs> Did you do some more class, man? Yeah. How are you feeling? Um, it's kind of a race against the clock at this point, um, but I think I have a lot of good learnings that like, I'm making a version for us to show today, but if I keep working on it after this, um, you know, I'm excited about what I can do. Race against the clock. <laughs> I really appreciate this. No um, worries. Yeah, so normally when I'm in Premiere, I'm like, this will do in terms of audio, <laughs> but I know it can be so much better. Mm -hmm. And so what I'd love your help on is to actually kind of normalize audio taken from different clips. Mm -hmm. Right, so first up, let's open our audio panel because obviously this is gonna be the workspace we're gonna work in. So first off, how have you organized your sound in your tracks? Ah, you have not. I don't even, <laughs> I don't even know there was levels of organization. Okay, what I like to do when I organize my tracks is I like to make sure a different person is on every track. I'll always keep my sound effects on one track mm -hmm. and then my music on another track. And that's because I can use the essential sounds panel to like do each clip, but then I can use the track mixer to do everything across nice. that entire track as well. So let's listen th through to this and see what we can do for you. This is so helpful. Oh, I'm so glad. I feel like every conversation expands my knowledge like a million fold and it just has me so excited for like actually getting back in and creating and working and like continuing to learn. 